Coverage you can count on continues with all you need to know. People working at the Vigo County Jail will be getting bigger paychecks after a county council vote last night, but it's not as big of an increase as requested. You'll remember Vigo County Sheriff John Plassey wanted to raise base pay from 18 to $22 an hour. The council approved just a $1 bump to $19 an hour. Council President Aaron Loudermilk, along with other council Republicans, said the sheriff's request was too much. Three council Democrats all voted against the salary increase because they say the amount wasn't enough of a raise. The sheriff says he's happy to get something. The Vigo County Council will meet again in April to discuss further stipends and benefits for staff, as well as potentially raising that $19 base salary even higher. All right, civilians continue to flee from the violence in Ukraine. In the two weeks since Russia launched the invasion, more than two million refugees have fled Ukraine. The UN says half of them are children, and the United States and its allies are targeting the Kremlin's war chest with new sanctions. Yesterday, President Joe Biden imposed a ban on Russian energy imports, including oil and natural gas. The EU and UK also announced steps to wean themselves from Russian fuel. The order came as gas prices reached an all-time high in the United States. We now know the name of the person killed in a house fire. Last month, the old United Methodist Church in Duggar caught fire. Sullivan County Sheriff Clark Cottom told News 10 that church had converted into a home. Sheriff Cottom identifies the victim as 64-year-old Teresa Murdoch. Her cause of death was smoke inhalation. The sheriff says the cause of the fire is still unknown, but foul play is not suspected. The Terre Haute Parks Department is now hiring for several seasonal summer positions. New Sense Chloe Markley is live at Deming Park to share some upcoming summer opportunities. Chloe. Good morning, Heather. I'm here at Deming Park where a variety of summer job opportunities are available for you. That includes lifeguards, pool managers, train operators, and concession stand workers. You must be 16 and older to apply. If you want to be a lifeguard, you must be certified. The park is offering lifeguard training sessions in April and May. The park is also in need of camp counselors to help run kids' programs. The director of recreation says she encourages all people to apply. I would encourage anyone to come work for us um, for our seasonal positions. They're outdoors, which is super fun. Um, you get to be with the community. If you want to apply to any of these positions, go check out our website at WTHITV.com to find application links. Reporting live at Deming Park, Chloe Markley, News 10. 50 degrees today, cloudy start, sunny conditions will take over in the afternoon, and we're going to see temperatures, you know, a little bit higher today than they were yesterday. Trend will continue a little bit longer tonight, though. We're cold again, lower 30s, below freezing, mostly cloudy skies. We can see what I'm talking about tomorrow, about a degree higher here in Terre Haute. Uh, similar uh, temperatures over the course of the day tomorrow for most of the Wabash Valley. We're going to see partly sunny skies before a major cool down on Friday. Look at this showers, maybe even some snowflakes pass through here, bringing with them much cooler air. Temperatures are going to drop to around 40 Friday afternoon, 15 Friday night to Saturday, and then upper 20s on Saturday.